Hello there everyone, I'm Mr. Mocha Lover, and thank you for joining me here in the Alamo, also in Old World Blues. But today we begin our journey playing as the Alamo chapter in this great, great mod. We're led by Catherine Tony, who is a mistress of subterfuge, which is very cool. But we begin with the Brotherhood Consolidation, of course. Building a new Brotherhood chapter is no easy task. Although many of our forefathers' strategies and organization will remain the same, we'll still face difficulty adapting to a new situation. An old new focus while our brothers to the north cling to their dreams of restoring the old world we have seen the truth technology still needs to be safeguarded until humanity is ready for it again until then we will stand internally vigilant or vigil the choice was not easy but we all agreed that it was necessary let us never forget our brothers even those that decided to leave the brotherhood for promises of restoring something that has failed time and time again to safeguard humanity we should get four more building slots and more manpower there's a place in texas called nixon town that's kind of cool and actually, Texan Brotherhood loses some manpower, which is good. And we start off with no divisions, but technological recovery. Now that we've disposed of Rusk's impossible goal of peacekeeping, we can return to our roots. Our efforts will refocus on search and recovery teams, scavenging or seizing any advanced weaponry they find. Also, I do want to let you know we're using Oral Blues mod, Oral Blues Radio, Stage Venture Tool mod, as well as Player Led Peace Conferences. And we actually have some divisions. Look at that. Cool. Um, and we are on Historical, which I should really let you know. Hey, she's part of the CIA, charismatic, intelligent, and agile. Everyone loves Catherine Tony. Well, maybe not everyone, but some people do. Uh, let's see. Ooh, we would definitely want that tile over there. But anyways, uh, we have no command power. That's okay. And then we will demand Richmond very, very soon. Oh, there goes the Desert Rangers. And... Okay, even as part of the Texas branch, we collected and safeguarded technology, though one of the reasons for our split was that they wanted to distribute what we guard. We can't let that happen, obviously, but what... A but what of our now lonely vigil? We need every edge we can get. Oh, wow, we get scientific stuff. Look at that. Nice. We get six research slots? Jesus. But our split put the Texan Brotherhood into disarray, meaning now is the time to press our demands. Richmond would cut us off their direct access to the Gulf, along with further empowering our industrial base. Wow. I mean, we start off with four. Don't get me wrong. That's really great. Wow, that is strong. But then again, we're not, like, in an extremely good position ourselves. So this is actually okay with us. Oh, we're doing that as well. And I'm kind of feeling like we should go down conventional warfare and grab some radios, grab some suppressive firepower, but mostly just get mobile fortifications and then come back down here. You know, I'm going to risk it. Let's risk it for a biscuit. Let's try that. It's probably really stupid for me to do, but oh well. We get 1.1 political power every single day. Not too bad. Looks like Lone Star has fallen apart already. Nice. And let's grab some gliders because I love planes. Richmond, we need it. Direct land access to the USSA headquarters is basically mandatory. Let us achieve this, by force or by finance. Let us hope that our former brothers still have some sympathy for our mission. Purchase Richmond. I hope they say yes. Uh, mutant Bulwark. Bulwark? What about Bulwark? Level 1 uh, outpost along the entire border we share with mutants. Houston Space Center. Stop the manhunt. Oh! That'd be kind of going to go to war with them immediately. And then we can hopefully defend against Santa Ana. That'd be pretty good. Gosh darn difficult. I kind of want to do that. The chains that bind? We'll try that. The pursuant made a violent sport out of human hunting victims. Sentient, capable humans. We need to put an end to this. No human is cattle. Great. I love going to war. I wonder, these guys. How strong are these guys? Because I know Santa Ana wants to kill these guys eventually. If I didn't say so already. I think I already did, though. Um, we are on historical. So, um, Skia. Intelligent. Less supply consumption. Attack and defense. More defense. More supply consumption. Which I don't want to throw on for uh, power armor. But we'll go do it anyways. And then a Michael Gregg. I might need you guys here. We might not need you guys here. So I'll just put you guys here for now. Hopefully, if we take out the Pursuant, we can just put our power armor down here and use our infantry to help defend... Oh! Defend, like, waterways and defend ports. They just gave it to us. Nice. Awesome. We have Richmond payments, which sucks, but it's fine. And we do have Bunker Blues. So, not bad. Overall, not too bad. Now, I do know that a lot of you guys, at least on my Discord server, said they don't want me to play... The Alamo chapter, even though we're doing it right now, just because you guys say, some of the guys say it's boring. Um, I wanted to try it out because, and for Old World Blues, I've played it so much that I've stopped playing it a whole bunch of the time it's recording. But if I don't know a certain nation or country really, and I haven't shown it on the channel, then I don't know Old World Blues that, as well as I should. So I figured I still want to le learn the Alamo chapter as well as uh, kind of understand it. So if anyone ever asks me about it, I can tell, tell them whether I recommend this nation or not. So. Alamo chapter, though, even though I have been to the Alamo over 10 years ago, the time of this recording as well, so I should really go back. It's actually, it's, I'm pretty sure the building is actually pretty darn small from when I remember it. It's not a big building, the Alamo, so it's really cool to go to, but it's not that big. Houston Space Center. 
Next, we have to strike a deal with Houston. Weaken to Kang will demand access to their territory in order to use their technology to contact the Western Brotherhood, which would be nice. Which, that is kind of one of my goals here. I do want to go to war with them quickly. Uh, we might just go ahead, because I would like to come out, core them, just because Houston is a trade node, which is super, super important. And to get the Mont, and just get more resources and stuff like that. God, that area of the country is so hot. <laughs> oh, man, and we don't have great power armor either. Stripped PA, we currently have the Vault Tech PA, which is... Not great, so I'm gonna just go ahead and do strip PA. So, broadcast from Central Houston. A war is costly, but we do not need to fight if they just give us unlimited access to the facilities. But if we have to, we will take it by force. One way or another, the USSA headquarters secrets be ours. Houston, do we have a problem? No, no problem here. Absolutely no problem. The chains that bind. Since forever, this has this piece of our doctrine guided us. Command flows from top to bottom, an unbroken chain that makes us hard as steel. Unquestioning loyalty to the Elder included. Let us try to find our Elders. Contact West must be established. Now, we only get 1.1 political power every single day, which is not bad, like I said. Oh, you guys are actually somewhat experienced. 14 is not bad. How much money do we make? Not much, but that's okay. Um, I do want to get this person, though. I just like getting so much political power. And to core things, we're definitely going to have to get this one. And that's just with cost as well, so. So, chains are bind. We fail, be it due to atmospheric issues, broken satellites, or what other obstacles could be present. For best efforts to send a signal to Lost Hills, we failed. We are alone. Silence has never been so cruel. We are alone. More mobilization speed. Mobilization speed. More factory output. Or, no, recruitable population factor. Attacking defensive core territory, which would be very, very good. Old world treasures. I like the resources. We don't need any more for now. Open the armory. Okay, not bad. Interesting. Boost the signal. Ooh. More daily political power gain? Oh, I love Catherine Tourney. we got to do that one. Our precious situation necessitates a consolidation of power in Tourney's hands. It is an ideal, but desperate times require these measures. At least is said power in capable hands. I wonder if we could kill him off with just some super Let's try it. Oh, they immediately start attacking us. That's okay. You know what? We want a lot of army XP game. Actually. Core state, 99. That's not too bad. Just going to hang out for now. We have plenty of equipment for now, but we're going to need way more where we're headed. Oh, wait. What? Why is this stuff being made? Um, okay, then. All right. We want, definitely want more of that. I'm going to make it some crowd control here. We could use motorcycles, but we're not really going to use them. We've already killed off 125 of them, so this is going to take a while. But that's totally okay, because we want a ton of army XP. A song from the front. If you'd like to read about that, please go right ahead. This happens every campaign. Let's grab some war support. As much as I want political power... Oh, no, maybe not. Uh... We are in an offensive war. You know what? Give me the political power. I'd rather get the political power for now. Even the war sport's more difficult to obtain. I'd rather take that for now. Let's see if they'll attack us again. Let them get a little more organization first. They probably will attack us again, but let's see. Go and grab some barrage balloons. There you go. Let's see what happens. Oh, never mind. Hold and take them there. And then we might just try and attack. Everyone together. Do we have cores? Oh, we do have cores? We have claims, not cores. Oh, that's not good. Um, caps are okay. Uh, war propaganda is actually pretty good to do as well, but I want to get more PP first. Oh, you can simulate stuff. Oh, I actually like this a lot. Yes. Just maximize army XP game for now. And we can disable that too. Alright, so we got some more political power. Brotherhood Forges are very good as well. Bulwark. More defensive core territory. Yes, we could. We will need to do that. This is not bad. Emergency Draft is good too. They're all really good, huh? Even Brotherhood Yeoman... Brotherhood of Robots. Robotic Settler Attacks. Attack bonus against those guys versus Mutant. Hmm. I don't mind Forges. What else do we have down here? Clear Sky. Anti-Air. Reactivate Old Gear. Not bad. One Final Advancement. Well, that's not bad. Scientific Electronics. Texas Comes. Hmm. What about over here? Enter the... Ooh. The Corpse. That's not terrible. Mount an Expedition into Fort Hood. Expedition Focus. Draft... The results. We need to plunder that. That's not bad. The headquarters, I like that a lot, actually. Um, intelligence is not bad. We have no problems. Uh, old world boons. Delve deeper. Corporate leftovers. Avenger of Armageddon. We'll probably get a nuke. We need control to control it. Oh, send it west. Oh, well, that sucks. It's a later date. Oh, man. Uh, Paladin skin. I'm just looking at this stuff before we make any other decisions. Just because I don't know this focus tree too well, but apparently, after we looked at all this stuff, it's not too bad. A lot of 
Hmm, this stuff is okay. Ah, uh, Brotherhood Forges. 60 days for two fa factories. Or workshops. We can't scam for everything, of course. We'll begin to set up forges across a territory capable of producing our impressive weapons and armor. Not bad. So, 1.13 goes to 1.33. Not bad. After this one, we can grab more of this stuff. I think I might just go with civvies for now. Um, that stuff is okay. I kind of don't mind a red alert bulwark. Just because we need more defense. Let's go and grab emergency draft just in case. Because we don't have that much population. Uh, we're only at 2%. We're mobilizing to 2.2%. Oh, okay. Yeah, pretty much. Local workspaces are very good. Happy 2276, everyone. Hope you're having a great year. Smoke signals will be great. But emergency draft just in case. Most of our supporters are a small number of high-ranking Brotherhood officers. The general population is largely uncaring to our plight. Meaning we'll need to forcibly conscript them for a cause. Alright, so for you guys. Can you both go there? That'd be pretty good. Something like that, maybe. And you guys head in there, too. Send in those guys. Oh, Michael Greg. Let's become inspirational. That's fine with me. I want these people to learn a lot. So this will be using them all campaign, so. Oh, strip power armor is good to get. Can we get that one next? Gary. Not yet. Not yet. Anything else here? We're going to need some anti-tank. It's been a while since I played Overworld Blues, huh? Doggos would be good. Anti-tank is going to probably be super important, especially against robots, so. Slowly, we're slowly, slowly, slowly winning. Two casualties versus 315. Not bad, not bad. And we'll break them eventually, I'm sure. Yeah, that's not bad. And Catherine Tony, anything here that we should really know? Savage leader, so. Entrenchment. I'd love to do pain train, but this helps everyone out, so. Go, 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 come on. Nice. Alright, let's shorten up this front line here a little bit more. You two just kind of stay there then. Uh, fighting through here is kind of not great. Yeah, that's okay. So, you know, that's okay. Let's go right there. Let the infantry kind of hold for now. Hold. Let him attack you. Why not? Just let him attack you. And go right there. There you go. Cool. Basic tools. And could get more output. Extraction's okay. Let's grab some seed selection. Barrage balloons are very nice. Let's grab some motorized flight next, too. And you can do that as well. No, we want to get a lot of army XP here just so that we can um, edit these divisions. Brother Forges are done. But emergency draft just in case. 3% more recruitable population is going to be incredibly important. There you go. Let them strive a little bit more and then we'll attack them again. Acclimatization training. Uh, I'll go and grab that one, too. There you go. I'll send that one division in. I don't want to hurt our resources for nursed. That's good. And come over here and then encircle and destroy. It's only one or two divisions. Oh, what is that? Refugees? Ah, eh, whatever. Oh, yeah, there, there's a whole refugee system in Old World Blues, but that's all right. I'm not too worried about that at all. And go right in. Right again. Nice. Executives are gone. And there you go. Go on in, guys. bad. Alright, up next let's grab some this guy so we get some more daily army XP. Even though we... Oh, we're already in well equipped army. That's not bad. We're building some civvies up too, so. Pretty good. Pretty darn good. Alright, where can we make another encirclement? Boom, boom, boom. Yes, I think so. Right here. God, it's gotta be so incredibly hot. I'm sorry, I, I used to live in south, southeast Texas, so I can't... It's been a while since I've lived there, so it, it just... It's so hot. And humid. It's, it's one thing to be hot. It's another thing to have a lot of humidity, though, so. Cool. And we'll have to expand our infantry uh, divisions as well, which would be good. And we've lost 25 versus 1,000. And then after this, we'll just do a general attack and take everything out. So, not bad. Pretty good. Uh, next. Ooh. What's the mobilization speed? Even more population? I'll leave that up to you. What should we do? Should we do Brotherhood Robots for technology and robotics? Or should we go with... Brotherhood Yeoman for more recruitable population. Please let me know in the comments below, and I'll we'll do that pretty much as soon as we start the next episode. Let's get Brotherhood scribes for more technology or research speed. A vast majority of our scribes from the Texan Brotherhood were sympathetic to our cause. Of course, they have demands of their own, meaning to that uh, to appease them. We'll need to spend time investing into our research and development schemes and teams. Nice. Oh, getting attacked immediately. Okay. Well, it is what it is. Do the best you can. And two more divisions, and then we'll just go right on ahead. New Vegas is killing itself. Alright then. Nice. 
not bad. Oh, there goes Petro Chico. All right, just go ahead, everyone. Yeah, as long as I give you orders. McAllen. Should be able to get everything done. Not really too worried about that. And, oh, stuff down here? Yes. Um, way more RMXP, thank you. Smoke signals are good. And grab some decode signals. There you go. That uh, should be it, right? Oh, no, Rio, Rio Grande City. Okay. Conventional warfare. Let's grab down here. We've lost, what, 35 versus 1,000? Pretty good, I'd say. Pretty darn good. Now, I want to make sure we do this as well. Get down into that one. Thank you very much. And that should be good enough for now. Actually, law keepers, light patrols, infantry, and 24 for 8. 4 for 8. Infantry, 72. Light patrols actually might be better to use as garrisons. Maybe we'll use that instead. Because manpower per suppression per division, 200. 100, 4.8. Manpower per suppression. But this require even less to produce. And it doesn't really matter. I don't really care. The pursuant. Cool. Uh, Rye control. Wait. Brotherhood paladins. Oh, that's that's better. That's 15 combo. These guys are 10. So goodbye. Uh, we don't need that one either. Riders will probably keep rapid deployment group. Uh, yeah, that's better to keep in this one. Cool. You guys are the dudes to keep. Can we actually expand this yet? Probably not. Hmm. Actually, I might get some dynamite on those guys first. So just in case, since we do have a, a potential war with these guys going on, would you all be able to do anything up there? Maybe, maybe not. And we should be able to go to war with them too, actually very soon. Siege of Hidden Valley goes bye-bye. Very good. Very, very bueno. Oh, and we've got some anti-tank rifles. Very good. Get some dynamite too so we can get those special forces unlocked. Uh, barrage balloons are not very good for me. I might use them someday, but not right now. Just start making some anti-tank. We need it. Brotherhood scribes are very good. Another corpse. Uh, boost the signal over the armory. Uh, we could clear the sky. Emergency production. I like the output, though. Uh, I do want more civvies. How many civvies do we got? That's not really enough. We do need more military factories pretty much immediately. We'll go with Nixon Town Forges for now. Oh. Oh, you have to choose which ones. Naval. Arms workshops. Uh, we have enough civvies, though. We can build fast enough, though. And uh, Nixon Town Workshops. From Alamoda to Nixon Town, new opportunities grow. And getting more civvies means we'll be able to produce more, 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 more. Uh, we should be able to re do relatively okay. Now, attacking them is going to be just a pain in the butt. they got a lot of manpower, a couple divisions, PSO stuff. Um, oh, Senate Caps Gift? No, we're kind of okay. Enforced Trade Laws, Erect Palisade, Houston Rockets, New School, Powerful, Scavenger City, Broken Pipes, that's good to see. And just some copy here as well to keep us nice and warm. And very good. Get some encoder signals now. There we go. See, just in time. I see what happens when we do this. Thank you for the military access, but we're going to kill you off anyways. And they attack us immediately. Just as I'd hoped. Looks like the Lone Star won. Nice. Wait for them to attack us again, maybe. Or maybe they won't. Maybe they will. Maybe they won't. We'll see. Refugees don't really care. We have minus one refugees. Good. War propaganda might not be bad. We're going to get that stuff over there. Fortifications, infrastructure. No, nah, anything unique here? Nightly armaments. I do like that one. More reliability max speed is pretty good. Let's just go ahead and grab... What? This one? Oh, we're building civvies for now. I suppose we can. No outsiders? That makes sense. And they're attacking us again. Good. Get a lot of experience, Augustus Garnett. That's going to be extremely important for us. And if you guys want to train, yeah. Some of you guys can still train. That's good. We have the ranchers. And up next, after Nixon Ware uh, shops, we'll do undead workshops. And sometimes those come that we can't control. Even more civvies. And even more army XP. Look at that. Nice. We do seem to get some planes, too. So we've killed off about 600 some. Not bad. And uh, we could throw maybe one thing of air bases up here. How long will that take to make? Uh, about a month. That's not too bad. We could probably do that. I don't, I'll don't. start using some planes immediately. They're looking very not too good. And then again, once we start attacking over there, that's not going to go very well for us, so... Uh, stockpile. They're already out of equipment, so. Uh, take a look at this. Can we get any free cores, perhaps? Let's take a look. Um, that's fine. Ooh. Core. Control core to lock. No, we don't get any free cores. So that's a little disappointing. That's alright. It happens. Mm, that's a little bit ahead of time. 
We're going to get them more up, but let's grab some plant cultivation. Bow to varied hierarchy. We're going to go immediately with heavy trooper mountaineering tactics. That'll be very good. I'll keep attacking for now. Uh, even though I might do port workshops, you know, enter town and cities. Watch the wealth of industry flow. Uh, Columbus workshops. Even roads are built in the great number and with great need of metro. Alamo workshops. And so we built ever faster. No concern for tempo. Not bad. And it looks like they stopped attacking. So let's... Can we actually attack ourselves, maybe? Can you guys actually attack right there and do well? That's a definite maybe. That's a definite maybe. Cool. And there goes Dinamite. And Saws might not be too bad to get either. Land Doctor is still coming along, so eh, grab some more of this one out. Nice. Dynamite. Good. And we're just going to keep building up the civvies, because I love civvies. Keep building, 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 building. More, 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 more. A strong industry is exactly what we need. Good, there you go. Let you all just fling out. Should be able to do it relatively okay, especially when they have no infantry equipment, so. Um, war propaganda. Oh, we should have war technically now, so we might as well do that. How much will it cost for us to core this stuff? 98, that's not bad. That's not bad at all. I'd like to take out these guys, too. Does the Texan brother go to war with them eventually? I think they might. Oh, hostile take over Petro Chico. Good to know. Um, we do need to keep an eye on what Santa Ana is up to. Superior mechanization. Just because th there's a there's a potential for them to just go to war with us without even us knowing, so... That'd be good to know. Are they doing a last stand up here? I kind of doubt it, but... No, they're doing a last stand. Look at that. Their organization's not dropping at all. Oh, not bad. Alright, so 52 versus 2,000 is pretty good, I'd say, so far. And Houston will be ours. Of course, we got to improve our divisions here, too, so. Ah, port workshops. Let's grab some Columbus workshops. Five-plane fighters are very good. Grab some triplane attackers, because I love them, love them, love them. Thank you. We didn't even need the planes, I guess. Oh, there's some divisions down there, too. And gliders. I love gliders. So maybe a goal for this campaign is just to take out all of Texas. That might be a, good, a worthwhile goal, actually. The Mont. Wait, is what is the Mont? Is that Beaumont? Hmm. Because, you know, mountains and... Where's Port Arthur? Where's Nacogdoches? Nacogdoches up north. I can't remember. I think it is. Economic precision is great news. So, let's go ahead and put our guys down here. That's about two and a half. Uh, these divisions are looking so good. The Mont. It's got, that's got to be Beaumont, right? That's got to be. Cool. And for now, I don't think anyone else will really try to fight us. We're looking pretty good. We got a lot of the coast, which I think is great. Um, I'm just going to put you on this up a division count for now. We'll make some more power armor divisions and such, but still. There you go. And train for now. Nice. Oh, trade nodes. Trade routes, too. Let's see. Trade nodes. Houston. Good. Awesome. Alright, so we need more power armor. I mean, that's pretty much to be expected. We need more divisions as well. Not bad. A jewel and a crown. We got another trade node. That's great. I think that's really great. New system secure package. Nationwide assimilation drive. We can look at that just real quick. And I'll go and do public projects. I really don't pay attention to this. It starts our stability a little bit. Percent of core population, minus one percent stability. Just assimilate. Oh wait, In three days. Our current refugee assimilation factor. Oh, lower tariffs. We can't afford that. I don't really care. If you like about this, please go right ahead. That's not bad. Wait, passive assimilation is below zero, and we're thus unable to passively assimilate any refugees. Pursuing a nationwide assimilation drive or seeking to expel refugees will reveal the high results. Oh, that's a lot of peepee. -pee. We've assimilated quite a few. How do we increase assimilation then? So now we're kind of stuck. I would like to take out these guys, but you can't just. Ah, oh, I guess you get, technically could. We have no way to get over there, so. Huh. Alright, well, let's go ahead and do Alamo workshops then. Very nice. Alright, everyone, so here we are, and I was correct. I didn't get a warning at all that Santa Ana would attack us, but 
it is what it is. But I've already gone ahead and done all world treasures, in which uh, there's always plenty of lost technology in the various ruins around us. So beginning a series of expeditions into these areas will no doubt lead to significant rewards. After all, this is not our ultimate purpose, safeguarding what could destroy humanity, as well as weaponry studies. Quality weapons are the backbone of every competent army. For all our advanced technology, there's still more to be learned. And up next, we'll go and do Red Alert Bulwark. The best defense is a prepared populace. We'll drill, out, drill every brother and sister on wartime procedures, hopefully building a powerful bulwark in case of the war. Or of war. So, it's, which is good. And they're attacking, attacking, attacking. We don't have enough anti-tank because, well, we didn't produce enough of it yet, which really is not very good, but it is what it is. Paladins, go ahead and grab some anti-tank for yourselves because we're going to need that. And since we're here, heavy patrols are going to need it too. And we're going to maximize anti-tank as fast as possible because that's the only solution that we've really got for now. You know what? Screw it. We don't even need the planes. Get tank. Tank, anti-tank, 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 anti-tank. I should have went with more um, military factories earlier, but I didn't realize that they would be attacking so fast, so soon. I don't know on historical. I don't remember when they would attack, but it is what it is, I guess. Uh, i got to get more divisions in there. For now, Michael Gregg, go rooted. That'd be good. You, Augustus Garnett, go rooted as well. Oh, no, we'll grab this one. But this doesn't give any more defense, which kind of actually sucks. Hmm. Hmm. Mm. Yeah, paint train is really the way we got to go for that one. And Tony, do you have any more upgrades? Yes, you do. Salvage, Savage Leader would be good. You have two traits, so we could probably get some more defense first or something like that. Attacking defense will fight the power. Actually, I might do that one. And this says tank attack and behemoth attack and defense, so that's not really worth it. Division attrition goes down. Out of supply, but I love leader, tough leader. I'd like that one, but we're kind of not there yet. You know what? Let's do something I don't normally do. We'll do fight the power. And Savage Leader. I I never do that one. But it seems like we could release it now. And we'll grab some Coordinated Assault. It's still green over here. We're still holding, which is nice. Over here, not so much. But we'll see what happens. And let's grab some more defense. Oh, yeah. Without the power armor there, we can't do anything. So you guys got to hold over here. We're actually holding over here, which is actually pretty nice. So uh, you guys go over there, too. And you know what? Both of you guys go there. Wow, you got a lot of attrition. Yeah, that's not very good. It's all right, though. As long as we can hold here and then maybe over here too, we'll see what happens, but it's not really looking good over there, so let's grab some more defense. Artillery's not bad, defense. It's only 5% more, but I'll take whatever we can grab. As long as you're holding here, that's most important. Oh god, no, power armor, you gotta go back in. As you see, I did throw another uh, infantry division in there too. Come on. Keep defending, guys. And what do we got? Here them Arthur. Uh, infiltration, linguist, go over there, and you go do that, so we can know what they're up to. Minus 237, not good. Red Alert Bulwark will help us out some more in emergency production. Our industrial capacity is nowhere near our rivals. Extending working hours and encouraging workshop jobs will help ease this disparity, which is very, very good. And we're currently mac trying to maximize that stuff. Just go and do this stuff. We need more civvies, but we need more millies as well. Oh, they actually did push us back, which is not very good. Even on defensive core territory, hmm, not very good. All right, anything else? Infantry defense would be good. Yes, that'd be very good to do. Texan Brotherhood and Carthaginian Gang. Oh, they are, they are coming out, which is not very good. You guys, you're not allowed to give up. Like, seriously. You're going to die there, probably. Honestly. You guys have got to hold. And we need way more anti-tank. Stonks are nice. Bull maybe bear. How much money do we have currently? Uh, that's not bad. Get more development. I mm, that's not bad either. Coring this area would be very good as well, though. Military signing bonuses. Ooh, we need more manpower for that. Uh, what is compliance like? These aren't. This isn't even our core territory. So once we get to our core territory, that would be very good. We gotta save our manpower up though. Oh, we don't really need that though. We can save that for now. Uh, let's see. Army XP. Yeah, let's grab that. Okay, not great. Not bad. Guys, you gotta get down here immediately. I doubt we have any more upgrades. That's correct. And it looks like they'll be slowly spreading out like cancer. Mr. start holding out for now. Hold out, hold out. Yeah, Santa Ana. I think he still needs a, maybe a slight nerf, maybe. You know, maybe a slight nerf. Just because he's very... He's, he's incredibly strong. Incredibly strong. It's ridiculously strong how strong he is. But as they spread out more... Bad for Hoover down. There you go. Um, that just makes us a little bit stronger. Because, uh, even weaker too, just because our defense won't be as good. Brother Yeoman, uh, oh, this time is a farce. 
Yeah, why not? History is doomed to repeat itself after all. While the robot general rallies his forces, we'll prepare ours. Texan against Mexican, human against machine, victory will be ours. So hopefully we can hold here. Ooh, actually, this is very good to attack maybe right now. We can cut these guys off potentially, which is going to be extremely important. Force the attack so we can get in there fast. If you'd like to read about the followers of the apocalypse, please go right ahead, but we'll let them come in. That's fine for now. Go, 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 go. Kill them all off. We can circle, destroy, get some more output immediately. Help them attack. Help them, help them, help them, help them. Help them. No, no, you can't let them go in. Bunker grid. Oh, a smaller pool of manpower requires a strong defensive strategy. A network of outposts will allow for constant communication on enemy defenses and strategies. Oh, can we core this? State? Oh, we can't core yet. Oh, come on, man. Come on, take him out, take him out. I'm going to throw you over here as well. I don't want to lose McAllen, Texas. I really don't want to. Good, good. Throw him out, throw him out. We got it. We cut him off. Uh, just hold the area. That's the most important thing. Oh, the old world wall holds, which is good to see. Oh, they started to attack. Do not let them move. Do not let them move. Can you dig straight in, maybe? Maybe not? We're holding so far, which is awesome, 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 as you can see. Come on. Let me core this place. Come on. God, that takes so long to get some compliance. Oh, my goodness. Oh, that's not good. You guys just got to hold out here. Um... We, we won there. Immediately go in there. Actually, no. You guys go there first. Kill them off. Kill them off. Kill them off. Kill them off. Come on. No. You're going to force defense. I don't care what happens. Game. Wait. Well, I don't have the options to do anything here. Wait. What? what? Wait. We can't. We can't force defense. What the heck? What? Uh. Okay. I think that's complete BS, but whatever. Good. Oh, we got him. That's good. We got him. Guys, we got him. The infantry might be able to hold out here by themselves. Send all the power armor this way. Hold. Everyone hold. 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 You guys get down there too. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. How many strong... Oh, there's only one... Uh, you guys actually do well there maybe? Maybe not. That's alright. Let them separate themselves and we can encircle them again, maybe. We've lost a thousand, so this is not easy. Like, don't get me wrong. If you're trying this, like, on your own time and stuff like that, this is not easy. Like, oh my goodness. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. A singular division. Preposterous. Ah, now it's no, no longer a singular division. Bunker grid is good. Can we do something else? Advanced bunker grid. A number of key choke points will receive additional fortifications, making each win combined with their impressive armaments near untakeable. Anti tank is looking much better now. Much, much better. Yeah, we're going to need some of these infantry back. Uh, so give me, like, four. There, there you go. Add them into there. That'll be fine. Can you guys actually. No, there's too many divisions there. Just hold for now. Hold for now. Spread out where you need to be. And go in back in. There you go. You should be able to win right there. And then we can kill these divisions off as well. Oh, they threw in another division in there. Hmm. Hold for that. Hold them for now. Go back in. If it's only one division, we can take them out, as you can see. But keep these guys in place. Do not let them move. There we go. We got them. Hopefully. Go in. You guys go right there. Go in. This is five divisions here. That's good, good, good. They do have Rio Grande City, so that's not very good. If we can defend there, that's great. If we can attack them right there, that'd be good. Awesome. Awesome. There we go. Don't even move. Go right there, guys. Go right there. Kill them all off. We've lost a lot of guys. Don't get me wrong. Are we still mobilizing? We're not. No, we're no longer mobilizing, which sucks, but whatever. We've lost 1,000. We've lost 1,500 versus less than 500. This is really bad. But it could be a lot worse. Oh, we want to core this space next. Oh, and there goes those guys over there, huh? Nice. Kill them all off. Three more divisions. Go bye-bye. They have up to ten divisions left. We actually might be able to win in this episode against Santa Ana. Desperate defense. For all of our might, numbers speak louder than words. Circumventing our enemy's advantages will be necessitating. Fighting for every street corner. If they do not know when we fight, they will not be ready. Just like us. Fox reduction. Nice. More soft attack. Awesome. We actually might be able to beat him up now. Which would be stupendous. Amazing. Muy bueno, as they might say in Mexico sometimes. Push in. 
Oh, we might be able to do this. Go, 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 go. And then we'll attack here, maybe too, eventually. Good, go, 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 go. And we want to core the state as well. Awesome. Kill them all off. Right now, so it will be ours. We can go in. We can go in. I can't believe we're actually going to kill Santa Ana. Santa Ana's difficult. He, he's not easy. That's actually... Okay, so, truth be told, this is my second attempt doing this. The first attempt, I tried to record and didn't go so well, so... Uh, I went back, came back, and uh, maximized our anti-tank. That's what... <laughs> Uh, like, you guys don't see all the th times I have to, like, restart things. Like, so. Just let you know. Just keep you guys aware of what's actually going on. Like, mm. Mm mm. Sometimes it's a big old pain in the butt doing this. And, you know, I know. I think. Um, yeah, I think you guys told me that Provis or Provis Gaming played the Alamo chapter before and it's kind of boring. But. Here we are. I really do want to know how. What this nation is like playing, though. Good. Go, go, go. They have up to seven divisions left. I don't care how much manpower it takes. This is the most important thing we can do in this episode. And plea for help. One final announcement. United Texan Front. It doesn't feel good to cra go crawling back to Texans, but it must be done. Our survival requires putting a set of objectives. May God have mercy on our souls for abandoning our charge. Uh, no. Plea for help. One final advancement. Nah, I think we're good. I think we're actually okay. So it is possible without going down with all the arms factories. It just kind of sucks. Uh, Brotherhood Runways, Booster Signal, I like that. End of the corpse, USSA HQ, though. The United States Air Administration was once the leading explorer of the solar system, a government agency specifically made to bring home the knowledge of the Outer Worlds. That's a fun game. Houston, its headquarters, let us see what we can find. Outer Worlds? It's not a perfect game. It's definitely not a perfect game, but it was, it was fun. Actually, I played the Outer Worlds on this channel when it first came out, so... If you didn't know that. Oh! Travis Stalwart Defenders? Who are you? Alamo Volunteers? Oh, wait, who's... Did these guys give it to us? That's kind of cool. Standardized tools are very nice. Refined tools are very good. And... More infantry good. Nice. Cut them off if you can. And just go straight for the capitals, like La Pesca. Hey, an encirclement. We love encirclements here. Go down there, and you guys just cut these guys off, too. Oh, and let's court McAllen. 33 factories, jump up to 37. I knew it'd be 37. Ah, that feels very good. Now, we still have almost enough anti-tank. Not yet there. We're not quite there yet. Styles so would be nice, too. Eh, probably don't need scrap motorcycles for this campaign. That's fine. Go to La Pesca. Go, go, go. Ciudad Victoria. And... These guys have already been cut off, which is great. Don't let them move. I know. We suffered a lot of casualties. 2,000 casualties. But by the end of this... They will have suffered way more. And I'm still going to go for Trooper Warfare to make ourselves very strong. Volto Shack Market. Get some oversight. Also, off screen, we did get uh, the Secret Sauce one. So, Swiss Sauce, it's okay. And Treasures of the Old World. Very good. USSA HQ. Let's do Advanced Firearm Integration. Fire Team Integration. The best weapons means little if our troops have no training on how to use them. Field exercises might even spur re further research, as it allows our scribes to step out of the laboratories and observe the practical effects of the work. Nice. And there we go. In the first episode, we've beaten Santa Ana. It wasn't easy. It really wasn't very easy, but we got it. Now, we got to wait for the lock to die so we can actually take out the rest of Mexico, but that is not bad. That was, I'll be honest, a little more difficult than I thought. Eh, it was going to be difficult. Yeah, let's be real here. It was difficult. Um, can they go to war with the patrolmen? One patrol to another. Approach patrolmen. Did they already do that one, though? They have not. I don't mind taking out the ironmongers next. Yeah, I kind of want to. But then someone might come in, come for our other territory, which actually might not be bad. I want all of Texas under us, so who cares? Kill them all off. And let God sort sort them sort it out. God forgives, we don't. Now, some of us do. Maybe. Depends on the day. Uh, what I would like to do, though, is make... And do that. That's what I want to do. That's what I really want to do. Go ahead and train if we need to. Uh, actually, we need to increase what we have here. So, we're using the Brotherhood Paladins. We put anti-take on these guys, which is great. Go with that I just uh, this one gives you eight or nine eh, is that really worth it eh. power armor gives you an eight soft eight soft attack 15 more defense and almost five breakthrough this almost gives you roughly the exact same but it hurts your organization by seven while this increases your organization uh, let me know in the comments guys what do you guys use do you use like special power armor demo teams and, and or fire teams, because it's just not looking like this helps us out that much. Mm, soft attack is 
or heart attack is 2.2 heart attack here is five actually you get more heart attack with just normal power armor 35 more hp this is 38 more hp i don't know this mm, for that's not that much of an increase and i don't want to lower our armor and we still get a ton a ton of organization so i don't know that doesn't seem very good for us Yeah, even demos like here. 10.3 is okay, but you still get 6. And you get more defense, you get more organization, which is super important to keep. Organization, like, it's one of those things that you, if you don't really experience with Hoi 4, that you're like, oh, it seems important, but maybe not the most important, but it's extremely important. Like, don't get me wrong, it's extremely, extremely important. So. Cool. Primitive radio, very nice. And we're just fighting on them. So maybe we'll go to war with them by the end of this video. Maybe, maybe not. But I do want to do a few more focuses as well first. Uh, you know what? I'll leave this up to you guys as well. I already asked you guys whether we should do Brotherhood Robots or Brotherhood Yeoman. We should do... We're go I'm going to do Recon Focus, but should we do Expedition Focus when we go to Fort Hood? Or should we do a Hacking Focus? Please let me know in the comments below. What do you think we should do when we explore the secrets of Fort Hood? Engineering. Uh, that's a little bit ahead of time. I don't really care, though. Marksmanship Doctrine. That worked out extremely well for us. Let's grab some more organization. And now, uh, planes, 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 why not? Let's go ahead and do Recon Focus, because I prefer this over the uh, static anti-air hit chance. So, satellites, satellites everywhere. And we have access to many, although with the time and the effort required to crack the codes, we may only be able to focus on one kind. Should we focus on weather monitoring or orbital surveillance? Get more encryption, decryption, intelligence. Overall, I think that's just better just to do, so. If you want to read about air focus, please go right ahead. Oh, no, this is exactly the same focus description. That kind of sucks. Oh, what are we missing? Not enough manpower. Oh, that makes sense. We need more infantry equipment. Unreasonable demand. I don't really care. Oh, oversight. Uh, that's fine. We have no problem. Further work with our satellites will allow further insights. Let us hope that this will also aid in fixing the blasted communications array. Up next, so I do... Oh, passive refugees. Oh, yeah. And the followers are established. That's fine. If you like about that, please go right ahead. It is what it is. And we can do that too. And go ahead. You might as well. All right. Wow, that's a lot of manpower. That's quite a bit. Let's make some more civvies first. Even though we do need quite a few more guns. Uh, let's go one person. That's fine. How many? How much did you take? Oh, we got more than enough. There you go. Go back and help out with the weaponry because we need way more weaponry right now. And since we do have a few of these guys, help put down some resistance. There as well as there. And we, you know what? We even got Petro Chico. Look at that. <laughs> Thank you, Santa Ana. Now the Alamo chapter is looking very long. This is like how I like to play EU4 sometimes. Just a very long, strangly line. Oh boy. You know, I've not played EU4 in a very long time. Eh, why not? We could use that. More color. Population, 40 factories still. Not bad. Wow, almost 4,000 there. Recon focus, and let's go ahead and do... We have no problem. Blasted communications array. Actually, we... Triplane attackers... Oh, did I get rid of... Yeah, bi, basically biplane fighters too. That's fine. Let's fix her up. Eden, not bad. Not bad. Why plane fighters? Yeah, that'd be good. Oh, we need some saws first, too. After this, what are we going to do next? Oh, mutant bulwark. The mutant is a dangerous threat. We need to safeguard those who are violent and be worried about those who hide it. Let's not go to war yet since we're out of guns anyways. So, it's slowly still going up, which is not very good, but that's alright. And we have no problem. We need to go to war by January 14th. Oh, Moctezuma Fractures. So, which means we had to go to war with them next. So, it's good that Moctezuma's dead. Even though, isn't... We're, we're literally on historical. I think he dies around 2280 or 2281, doesn't he? So, that's very... You know, every time we choose historical, it doesn't always go historical. Usually it should, but not always, which is very weird. Relics of the past. To safeguard the past is our duty, even if it is out of physical reach. Codes, equipment, satellites. Let us use them to discover, to prevent humanity from abusing technology once more. Only those worthy enough shall wield the sword. Magnify. Even more decryption. Nice. Lightweight metals are very good. And monoplane fighters. That's a little bit ahead of time, but, you know, I'm kind of okay with that. Uh, resource extraction. We can grab some of this. Let's grab some of this. More manpower is always good, right? Even though we don't need really need more manpower right now. Um, go ahead and stop training for now, then. Because you guys are looking extremely bad. Wow, that's... And they do have a lot of tanks. Maybe we won't go to war just yet. Especially with the lack of equipment that we do have. Hmm. Yeah, I think maybe it's best to wait. Oof. Trying out our new toys. They have a lot of manpower. They have a lot of tanks. Oh, that... Yeah. Mm, maybe I was a little bit too zealous with that. But, 
How about we read a few more focuses and then uh, call an episode? Brotherhood Runways, with all the knowledge we have, we have available regarding aviation, we might as well start putting it to use and boost the signal. Houston's decay has done us no favors. This, their space center, as well as useful as it is, has nowhere near the power needed to reach the Western Brotherhood, as well as open the armory. In times of desperate need, we can use what we safeguard from others. It's time to play with our toys. And then, oh, we need to have research decimetric radar, which will do eventually attempt repairs. What equipment they do have is unreliable at best. Repairs should be our next on the list of priorities. Clear sky. Get out of your plane. Powering the capacitors. The problem seems to be twofold. Failing equipment is compounded by a lack of adequate power, which we'll address next. Reactivate old gear. Dust has been covering these armors and weapons for too long. Let us fill them with life. Assign more engineers. We can't afford to delay any longer. We'll resign most of our engineers to the space center to rapidly increase the proje project's progress and one final investment. The work is almost done. Combining all of our efforts so far, we can construct a vast, a vastly improved space center, capable of broadcasting across the continent, Alamo to the skies. Any brother that fights in the sky is a safe brother. From that safety, they can provide it for those below as well. The more we rule the skies, the safer we will be and open the vaults. If we can do this one, actually. Yeah, we eventually. These will be the last reserves. Everything else is going to be what we can find. Scavenge and steal. Let us hope it will suffice. In addition, we will also do securing Fort Hood. The Fort Hood military installation was a key arms depot before the war. Experimental and conventional like, our first expedition here ended in failure. And little progress, but our new elder is sure she can manage this. Or perhaps it is simply her stubbornness and a desire to justify those casualties the base has already caused. But I hope you enjoyed the video. It has been a very violent video, which we've enjoyed. But if you really did enjoy it, do please consider leaving a like. It does help me out. Subscribe if you're new. Check out my Discord link in the description below, and I'll see you tomorrow as we will expand the Alamo chapter's reach into Texas, maybe Louisiana, as well as Mexico. Thanks for watching, and have a tremendous, tremendous rest of your day.